Hello everyone, Jones here. In this video I will show you my MacFed Paintball Loadout. Starting up with my Assault Blade Carrier and Multicam. As you can see, this Blade Carrier carries three Helix Macs on the front and I also put two Pistol Macs into the smaller straps. And my push to talk button for my radio, which I have mounted on the side of my hydration pack. I have my hydration tube running to the front from the right side. On the front I have a snap clip if needed. Coming to my Multicam accessory pouch, which can be used for anything like putting a mobile phone in there or any other equipment I need for a game. There's a second pouch, which is also quite helpful, I'll show you this with my mobile phone. My phone is a little bit too large for this pouch, but it works. Continuing with the back side of my blade carrier. As you can see, I ran the cable of the push to talk button back to my radio on the shoulder strap. The radio is at the Topcom Twin Talker 9500. Be aware, if you want to use this with tactical headsets, you will need an adapter for it. Let me show you how the hydration bladder is mounted inside this pack. There are two snap clips which hold it in place. The hydration tube can be put through the backpack on the top right and left side. This blade carrier was coming with fake ballistic plates, which I replaced it with foam inserts, which are flexible and more comfortable to carry. So much for my blade carrier. Next I'll be showing you is my Molly Combat Belt. As you can see I have a multi-tool pouch on the left side with my Ganso G202 multi-tool. This can be quite helpful if needed to repair anything or cut some wires. This tool also includes a bit set which can be mounted on one of the tools. Next I have a 7.62 double mag pouch which also holds helix mags without troubles. Continuing with my Amazon Gear Marine dump pouch. You can roll this up and as you can see it's pretty big and will hold a lot of things. I usually use it to put my empty mags inside of it. This pouch also has some straps here on the front side, where I can mount additional items if needed. And next we have a double grenade pouch, which I'm using to carry my Enola Gay burst wire pole grenades. This can be quite helpful if you need to fall back on enemy fire, for example. This is a UFC rubber dummy knife, in case I ever run out of ammunition. As sidearm I'm using a ram combat pistol. This pistol is CO2 operated and got blowback action built in. The safety on this pistol is a little push button on the trigger. On the front rail I have mounted a Surfire X300 LED tech light replica, which can be quite handsome in dark areas. On the right side of the belt I have another snap clip, which I'm using to put my gloves at if I don't need them. As helmet I'm using a leaf trap Mitch 2000 replica with arc rails, 
On the left side I have mounted my set tactical Cobra headset and a Night Evolution personal light system. On the right side I have the arc rail mount for my contour roam camera. Coming to my paintball mask, which is a Dye E4 with a custom paint job. A sling, I'm using a Coyote MS3 sling, which can be used as one point or two point sling, depending how you put the clips together. There is also a little bracket where I can lock the snaps so they don't get loose. This is my MCS 468 MacFed marker with a key mod handguard, a 16 inch rifled barrel and a micro T1 red dot replica, ambush sights and a Magpul MOK2 grip with storage compartment, which can be quite useful to store tools for example. On the back side I have an MTA buttstock covering a Gorilla Air 13CI tank with P3 regulator mounted with a universal buttstock guide from MCS. On the right side of the marker I have a dust cover to avoid dirt getting into the breach. Thanks for watching this video. If you need additional information on my gear please check the description or write a comment down below. Also please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Jones over and out.